one single person out there for each and every one of us. And this goes back to the issue of your soulmate. One of the things I talk about in my classes is this issue and how um, pop culture and Hollywood and romantic comedies and all that, one of the things that all this teaches us is that one of your goals in life is for you to find your soulmate. That one person out there in the world somewhere who is perfect for you. And they're going to, once you meet them, everything is going to be perfect. Everything's going to be amazing. Like I said, if you're in a Bollywood movie, there's going to be like fireworks and stuff in the background. And you're going to know this is the person, right? This is the one person for me. It's kind of, I remember the first time I taught my class, uh, after I mentioned the issue of the soulmate, a sister came up to me and she said, Sheikh, are you telling me I don't have a soulmate? And I said, well, it depends. If by soulmate you mean that there's only one person out there who once you meet them, you're going to know there's going to be butterflies in your stomach and everything's going to be amazing and they're going to be perfect and they're never going to say anything to upset you and they're always going to know when to bring you flowers and your mind, you'll be on the same wavelength at all the time, right? Whatever you're thinking, this person knows. If that's what you think a soulmate is, then yes, I'm telling you, you don't have a soulmate. However, if you mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for you to marry a certain individual and you want to call that person your soulmate, alhamdulillah, no problem, go ahead and call that person your soulmate. Right? So now, the issue here is when we tell ourselves <clears throat> that there's only one person and that person will be perfect and there's going to be no issues and all of that. And I've had this happen to me as well. A sister came up to me and she said, I'm, you know, I'm having some issues with... Uh, my husband and we're having problems and she said it wasn't like that in the beginning but now you know we're having all these issues and then she says to me something which kind of very, it hurt me very much and it was actually the first time I'd heard this now I've heard it many times but it was the first time I heard this and what the sister said to me she said I think I married the wrong person and I said why and she said because I don't think he's my soulmate right? and it's probably now the issues that they were having were not like major issues like that are grounds for divorce or anything like that Right? These were issues where she's like, yeah, I just don't feel that connection anymore. Right? Like, it's just not there. Like, my heart is it's just not there. And, you know, we don't, he doesn't know what I'm thinking. Right? Like, it just doesn't. So, I think I married the wrong person. I need to go find my soul.